What's going on guys? I'm back with another video and this is pretty much just to let you know that animation modding is now possible for Metal Gear. And uh, how that is possible is I've been working on this tool for a little bit now and it is the mTAR tool. What the mTAR tool is, is it's an unpacker and repacker for Metal Gear's mTAR files which stands for Motion Archive and they are the containers for Metal Gear's animation files, which are g -E files. So you can now take them and swap them, uh, add more animations to a single archive, and other things of that sort. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a demonstration of it here. It works very similarly to GZ's tool. So let's go grab some stuff here. Let's go to chunk zero to player motion and we're gonna take uh, player to resident motion FPK here and we're going to copy that into this folder here which I'm going to use make byte on once we're done here so assets TPP pack player not play e player and motion. And that's going in there. Alright, and need to go to GZ's tool. Should I be better off if I open this in a new window? So I'm just going to leave that over there. Alright, and let's open this up with GZ's tool. And we'll leave that there for now. Now let's go get the MGO animation files here. So player motion. And we're just going to unpack this right in here. And grab the MTAR file from here. So we want MGO player resident.mtar. We're going to copy that. Go inside here and paste it with the other mtar for now and we don't need that anymore so we can close that for now all right now i can actually show you the mtar tool in action so it works like i said earlier very similarly to gz's tool you just drag an mtar archive onto it and there it goes it does its thing and there we go so you can see that it unpacked it the only difference is that uh, the mtar tool outputs this hashed names file as well. And it's useful for if you have what a file is documented only by its hash, you don't know its real name, and then its real name is found later and added to the dictionary, but then you can't find that file because you no longer see it unpacked in here by its hash, it's by its real name, so you could just find it in here by its hash and then you can see what its real name is. So that's what that is for. Uh, anyway, let's go in here and grab some animation files. So you can see these are for Quiet's thumbs up animation appeal action there. Um, we're actually just going to copy the whole MGO folder because it's a little bit easier that way. And let's unpack Player 2 Resident. And we're just going to paste it right in here. And go back here. And we're going to open up both XMLs in Notepad. And I'm just going to search for Quai to find those animations. And I'm just going to paste those lines right here at the top of the other XML file doesn't matter what order you place uh, these lines in if you're adding additional animations to an archive because the tool automatically puts them in the order that they need to be in. So that's all I need to do there. We've got the start, we've got the idle, and we've got the end. So now let's just drag the XML file back over to the mtar tool. And there we go. 
Now delete all this and also MGO player resident. And that should be all we need to do. We can close out of the MTAR tool now and repack this with GZ's tool. And there we go. Now let's start up Makebyte. So I'm just going to call this MTAR test version 1. Test will be my great description. And mtar test.mgsv. There we go. Let's start up Snakebite here. And I'm going to uninstall my previous mtar test. And install the new one. Okay, that's all done. Let's start up Metal Gear and see if it works. Alright, so we should be able to check if it works right here in the ACC. I'm going to open up my animation menu, set the animation to quiet thumbs up one, and play it. And there we go. You can kind of see that it works. Can't really get a good view here though, so... I'm just going to... Teleport out of here. And there we go. Now we should be able to get a better, a better view. And there we go. You can see that it works. She does the thumbs up. And you can also do the sub animations because I added those in. So this should be the idle one. And the other one should be the ending one. And there we go. Um, Obviously the other animations won't work because I didn't add in their files, so if I click play on that, now I'm just frozen in place. I can't move even though I'm pressing the movement keys, so I'll free myself from that. And yeah, so that's what the MTAR tool does. Uh, so if you want to swap animations, you can do that now. And I will see you guys in another video.